What's up, everybody? My name's Nuck and Futz because I'm effing nuts. I've been getting a ton of questions about my UI, add ons, and weak auras, so I decided it's time to make a video about everything I have to make a perfect UI. We'll start off with the basics and what I believe to be one of the most important add ons to make your UI beautiful Elv UI. Now, I know it isn't required by any means, and the default UI works just fine, but if you want some more screen space and a clean UI, then I highly recommend trying it out. I hide my action bars nowadays, and if you can memorize all of your keybinds, then I highly recommend doing this as well. It gives you so much more freedom to see things and not be distracted as much by your UI. I also love the unit frames in LVUI, which are insanely customizable. Raid frames are great as well. There's just a ton of features that really enhance the default UI into something far greater. I will have a link below for my profile in the description. Next up, we have DBM or Bigwigs. I'm a big fan of Bigwigs myself, shout out to other GigaChad Bigwigs users, but DBM is also very good. I typically tend to use DBM during PTR since Bigwigs tends to take a bit longer to have everything ready in time. Regardless, either of these are great add-ons for every boss fight. You can also opt to use weak ores to supplement these add-ons or enhance them with even more things being tracked. The next important aspect of a UI is nameplates. I personally use Plater and I love it. You can use any other nameplate add-on or even LVUI's built-in nameplates if you wish. Speaking of Plater, one of the most commonly asked questions I received is how are your nameplates on the ground or under the mob? I'll show you where the setting is really quick. So you open up Plater's options and you click the advanced tab up here. And if you look near the bottom left here, there's an acre point. You're going to set this to head slash feet. Now, whenever you encounter any enemies, their nameplates will be under them and allow you to click them easier or just simply see them better and more centralized on your screen. But yeah, the rest of my player profile is pretty simple. I'll link it down below anyways in the description. A very popular add-on, especially for feeding our egos, is details. There isn't much to say about it besides it is an amazing damage and healing meter. You can also check how someone died to some easy mechanic, who is pumping into ads that don't matter, or who isn't interrupting or dispelling when they should be. You can also use the plugin Tiny Threat for a threat meter. All around, just a great add-on and you should definitely have it. Now we have probably the most powerful add-on available to us, Weak Auras. It is unbelievable how advanced you can get with this add-on and make unreal Weak Auras to track just about everything in the game it feels like. I am not smart enough to make these myself, but a few guildies and other big names, shout out to Foji, make incredible weak ores that I use all the time. My big warlock panel here is a combination of other weak ores and also some edits to include the glow that you see on my emulate so I know when I'm safe to cast it and not clip the dot. I highly recommend a panel similar to this that is very clean and only tracks what you need to track. I have a separate weak ore that tracks my trinket ICDs. I find this important for demo and many other specs as well. This is a simple demonic pact weak aura that I edited just a bit to change the color of the number depending on how big the pact is, just for fun. I also have a don't release weak aura from Foji that simply doesn't allow you to release before the boss despawns so that Sadie can reset off of you first. It does not work for soul stones though, so be careful. I have another simple weak aura here that tells me when my pet is not attacking anything just as a reminder. This is a small blue circle around my cursor so that I can see it easier. I use this weak order by Thames to make sure that all debuffs are up on the target. This weak order attracts buffs and ensures I have them all before every pull. Very important if you have some lazy buffers in your raid. Lastly, feel free to run a weak order pack for any raid that you like. I personally enjoy Foji's work and tend to run his alongside big wigs, and it does well to track just about everything I want. But that's all my main weak ores, I believe, and I will link them all down below for everybody. Alrighty, quite a mouthful about weak ores. Let's move on to something more simple called Omni CC. This just places a number on your cooldowns that allows you to easily see how much time is left on any given cooldown. You can opt to use LVY's cooldown timers instead if you want to. They both work and it's just personal preference. Another basic add-on is a threat add-on. I personally prefer Threat Classic 2, but Tiny Threat is great too. I remember there were some issues with Tiny Threat and TBC Classic, so I swapped to Threat Classic 2 and never looked back. Highly recommend getting a threat meter though, especially because we are in meta and, and in melee range of the boss on most pulls, so it can get pretty spicy. And that rounds out the basics for add-ons and weak auras. 
The next few add-ons I have are mostly personal preference and nice to have add-ons, but not essential for your UI. First up, we have a combat damage display add-on called Parrot 2. It is a bit old school, but I personally love it. You can make it super compact, or you can use it like a different add-on called Mixed Scrolling Battle Text. Either of these are fine add-ons. Parrot 2 feels a bit ancient and it can't export my profile, but these are some of the settings for it. I know some of you are big fans of MSBT, but feel free to try out this one and see what you think. Another neat add-on I have is called Doom Cooldown Pulse. It simply flashes a transparent icon on the screen to remind you that something just came off cooldown. This can help you subconsciously remember to pop gloves or whatever else as it comes off cooldown. You can mostly ignore it or just not have this add-on at all, but I enjoy it. Next we have Spell Activation Overlay. This is a cool add-on that shows you procs similar to later expansions of WoW. It works for all sorts of classes and various different procs. I personally don't use it on my Warlock currently, and do something similar with a weak aura, but I highly recommend trying this add-on out if you haven't already. Lastly, we have MRT. I personally don't use it, but it is very powerful for raid leads or classes with raid cooldowns. You can use it to track cooldowns like Innervate, B-Res, D-Sac, etc. You can also make notes with it to share to the rest of the raid and have it open while doing a boss encounter. This would be great for things like your bite order for Mobby, I mean Blood Queen Lanathel. Overall, great add-on and definitely check it out. To round out this list, I have a bunch of quality of life add-ons that aren't too useful in raids, but very handy and they feel weird not to have now. I'll start off with one that receives a ton of questions. This add-on is called Nug Key Feedback. It is not a rotation helper of any sorts. It simply relays what spell I am pressing at the time, and then replays it for a second after the spell is cast. I somewhat use it as a GCD tracker, but it is mostly there for you, the viewers. I love when fellow content creators use this so that I can very easily see what spell or button they just pressed without having to figure it out myself. You definitely do not need this add-on, but I hope that explains what exactly the add-on is. A super underrated add-on is called MySlot. It is very simple and allows you to save your macros and key bindings to a profile to then export to other characters of yours. This is especially handy when making a new character or if you ever participate in the PTRs. Back in TOGC PTR when I had to make 10 plus characters in a day, my slot saved me an enormous amount of setup time. A simple but nice add-on to have is called Bagnon. Bagnon just moves your multiple bags into one frame or bag on the screen. You can also use LVI's built-in Bagnon type function, but I prefer the look of Bagnon. It also has a feature where you can filter your bags with just a simple click. Another cool add-on to look up our favorite thing ever, loot, is called Atlas Loot. Most people know about Atlas Loot already, but I highly recommend it if you don't have it. It saves you quite a lot of wowhead searches looking for items with a simple interface to find all sorts of different items. It even has a tab for factions, crafting, PvP, and tier sets. A controversial add-on is next called Taco Tip. This is the gear score add-on that allows you to hover over others' gear or your own and see their gear scores. This typically allows you to see at a quick glance just how geared someone is. My only gripe with this add-on is it makes inspecting people a nightmare sometimes because of how it extracts the data, but overall use it or don't use it. I personally enjoy seeing my gear score go up as I'm funneled every single last bit piece of loot. Anyways, a nice add-on for swapping gear sets is Item Rack. You could use the built-in Blizzard version of this, but this add-on is a bit more advanced. Either one works and I personally don't use this on my Warlock much at all, but for tanks I imagine this is incredibly useful. Have you ever been scrolling through LFG chat and think there has to be a better way to read this? Then check out LFG Bulletin Board. This add-on compiles and organizes LFG chat in real time. It makes sifting through trade chat or LFG chat so much easier to find a group for something at a quick glance. Highly recommend this if you don't have it already. A somewhat toxic but very useful add-on is next called Rank Sentinel. It simply whispers someone when they're using a lower rank spell than what they have access to. I love using this add-on in pugs and seeing the sheer amount of people not using max rank spells. 
You can turn off the whisper function if you wish and still see the spells people are using that are of a lower rank. The add-on will not spam someone if they use it more than once if you are curious about that. For example, if I rank one life tap, it will not bug me over and over. But overall, super funny add-on and, and also pretty solid, so try it out in your next pug raid. For all you auction house enjoyers, we have Auctionator. I personally prefer this add-on for my auctions as it's fairly simple, but if you want something more advanced, then check out TSM. Most auction house add-ons are great and will likely save you a bit of money and time. Highly recommend having one of these instead of dealing with Blizzard's default auction house UI. Next, we have a classic add-on called Questy. It is simply a quest helper add-on for anyone leveling or maybe doing quests at max level for rep or gold or what have you. I don't use this often anymore unless I'm leveling an alt, but it is an amazing add-on. Feel free to also check out paid versions of leveling add-ons that hold your hand, such as Rested XP or Zygor. I've used both in the past and they are very convenient to level and just turn your brain off and follow the big green arrow. Alright, now we have one of my favorite funny add-ons called Twitch Emotes. All it does is when you type certain phrases into chat, there will now be an emote from Twitch or one of the emote plugins associated with Twitch. I think it's hilarious to use and watch general chat while in raids or even to use with your guildies. I highly recommend if you think it looks fun to you, but it is not a necessary add-on at all, just for fun. Last but not least, we have a great add-on called Hiding Bar. After downloading all the previous add-ons I talked about, your minimap will probably look like an absolute mess with a ton of icons around it. We can fix this with this little bar you see here. I love this add-on because it keeps my minimap clean, but I can still access the add-ons easily whenever I need to. But I think that just about covers everything. I'm sure there's plenty of other useful add-ons I missed, so feel free to comment those down below. Also, I will post a bunch of stuff in the description, so check out the links. Anyways, like and subscribe, and don't forget to keep pumping and being nuck and futz.